Hey everybody, I'm Brady and this is Tyson with Golf Ascending and right now we're going to review the Bettinardi Innove 6.0 putter. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post golf content every week. And if you also haven't seen, we have some other videos on some Bettinardi putters. Specifically, we have a review video on the Bettinardi Queen Bee number no. 6 and a pretty cool video where we show some customized paint-filled putters. They're both Bettinardi, the Queen B6 and the Studio Stock. Number three. Number three. Pretty cool. Check out those videos if you haven't yet. Uh, but today it's all about the Innove 6.0. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's go over some of the specs on this awesome putter. Okay, so the Innove 6.0, it was completely redesigned by Sam Bettinardi, and it was to promote a better performance and feel in an MOI putter, which stands for Movement of Inertia. It features a fit face, as you can see right here, it's those vertical lines across the putter. Um, it gives you know a really soft feel. It also has several different neck options. This one is the crescent neck. We also have a center shaft option and a spud neck. The putter is 358 grams. It is a bi-metal construction, which is stainless steel and 6061 aluminum. So as you guys can see, this two-tone putter creates a very clean, sleek look at a dress, which is great for aligning the ball. And this putter also features a new grip for Bettinardi. It's called the Sync Fit Grip. So it's by Lamkin. Um, Pretty cool grip, we'll actually talk about that in a second and see what Brady's thoughts are on that. All right, so now that you guys have heard about the specs and the details of the Innove 6.0, um, let's have Brady tell us a bit about his experience with this putter. This is his putter. Yep, so I got this not too long ago. This is the 2020 Bettinardi putter and I've really enjoyed it so far. Uh, one of the big reasons I made the switch to the this particular putter was for the fill with distance putts. My previous putter was the um, Odyssey O-Works putter, and we do have a video on that if you want to check it out. <clears throat> and it was really soft for those shorter putts off the face, but I wasn't getting the distance control. And I, when I tried this, I was actually at the PGA Superstore, and I was actually there to try out some irons, but while we were there, we took a few hits with the putters, and I kind of fell in love with it instantly. Not to mention, I really like the color. I love blue big fan and I just loved how smooth it was um, so but that was the biggest reason was for the long putts I wanted something where I had a little bit better distance control this feels great off the face the weight on this putter it's perfect for me I've always been a fan of the mallet putters um, I, I do like the heavier putters uh, over a blade and then this one just kind of fit exactly what I wanted in a putter and I've enjoyed it so far um, the grip I am going to get a new grip, I actually did already, um, it's coming in the mail. It's going to be the same one made by Bettinardi, the Lampkin, as uh, Tyson was talking about, but it's the jumbo grip. I've always liked jumbo grips a little bit more than the thinner grips. Um, so I look forward to having that. It's an all blue grip and to be honest, I actually do plan to make some customizations to the colors as well. But so far I've been a big fan. and. Now being part of Bettinardi, I actually got myself a Bettinardi head cover, which I highly suggest you don't look into that because you'll go broke. <laughs> Tyson has more to that. You know, we talk about, you know, the clubs that you pull out of your bag, the confidence, you know, I can, I know that Brady gets the confidence pulling this out. I've seen him. Yeah. I've seen him with those long putts step up with more confidence. Um, you know, let's be real here. We're all not going to hit our, you know, green and regulation within five, six feet. Um, and so getting something that was going to fit Brady's game that got him, you know, two putt, you know, solid, yeah. he was going to love. And I think that's what he was missing out on his previous putter. And that was hurting, hurting my game. I was doing a lot of three putts and it was awful. 
Yeah, so I, you know, I actually really like this putter. I'm a big Bettinardi fan. I've tested quite a few different ones. Um, you know, I actually swung this one right-handed. You guys know I'm left-handed, um, but I, I did want to swing this one and kind of get a feel for it. And, you know, it swings similar to um, another Bettinardi putter I have, or at least the face. The face feels similar. It's the Studio Stock 3. And I think that's just because of this, um, this fit face that it's got. It's those vertical lines um, that go across. And, you know, for me, that face, you know, it feels soft, but solid. I don't know mm -hmm. if you get that, that oh, kind yeah. of feel. So it's like, you know, it's it's soft like Brady's previous putter, but you yeah. get the like confidence where it's like, well, I can hit this. I can give it some umph if I need to. Yeah. Um, that so I really feels the thing that helped with the distance. Yeah. So sure. I really like that. I feel like that fit face also kind of helps the ball, you know, roll forward and, mm -hmm. and get it going. Um, I really like that about it. Um, some other thoughts that I have about this putter: um, the color scheme is great. Um, so it is that two piece, or I guess two tone look it's got that blue and silver and it kind of actually shows the divide of the multi-material construction that it is it's got that um, stainless steel on the front and then aluminum on the back so it's really cool really pleasing on the eyes the blue white contrast is is beautiful yeah. um you know it's kind of funny brady is a byu fan um, and it was funny seeing him putt with a red putter because byu's ultimate rival is the university of utah <laughs> and here yeah. he is putting with this crimson putter that actually helps uh solidify the deal for me to actually get this i was getting rid of all the red add red Callaway diablos add red drivers the nike ruby red so i got rid of all the red in my bag and so this just finished it off except for and it, yeah well and even this even this little thing and the, and the little uh, the details yeah those, those are bugging him <laughs> i'm gonna get paint fill on this and i'm gonna get rid of the grip i don't want any more red on my bag <laughs> but yeah no honestly um you know, I feel like this is a great putter for Brady. I've seen some really good putts, especially those long ones and getting really close. Um, and even sinking yeah. a couple, I've seen him hit some really long yeah. putts, um, which, you know, I just don't think he was getting as close with that Odyssey. Um, but, you know, I think it's going to pay off. So this this putter actually does retail for $400. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's expensive, but all nice things are. And I will be one to attest that a putter is a great investment. A putter is something that, you know, is very personal to a lot of people. A lot of people keep putters in their bag for a long time. And so, you know, making this, you know, $400 investment, if Brady's got this in his bag for, you know, several years, yeah. the investment's worth it. Yeah. It's been pretty awesome. And, of course, you could always buy used clubs as well, mint condition, just get a little cheaper. But I agree with Tyson. Um, especially with the putter, it's generally a club you'll have for a while. You see a lot of pros who hold on to that same putter for years and years because they really like it. And I do plan to hold on to this. I really like it. But anyways, hopefully this review helped you in a decision if you do decide to go Bettinardi or specifically the Innove 6.0. Um, and again, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, please press that like button and click that notification bell because again, we post videos every week.